Hey, kids, settle down. It's time for a Christmas story, but with a twist. It was the night before Christmas, and all through Lavelle's house, not a creature was stirring. Not even Tuss House. The banners were hung on the press box with care with the 84 title also sitting up there. The players were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of victory danced in their heads. And false live in his kerchief and tree in his cap, they just settled down to a post-final nap. When out on the field there arose such a clatter, fans sprang from their seats to see what was the matter. Away Jamal Williams flew like a flash, tearing open big holes, giving defenses whiplash. The new scoreboards and ribbons gave off quite a glow, giving the luster of midday to objects below. When what to fans' wondering eyes should appear? But a waving white flag and a squad leading cheers. With a head football coach so serious and tall, I knew in a flash it must be Mendenhall. More rapid than lightning, the players, they came. And he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Nelson, now Lark, now Oppo and Hoffman. On Funga, on Vanoy, on Hadley and Johnson. On to the win. Now it's time to roll. Now clash away, bash away, blitz away all. Then in a twinkling came the first snap, and both lines collided with an audible clap. As the QB backed up and was turning around, through the line broke Big Ziggy, throwing him to the ground. They wore blue and white, this gridiron squad. Their uniforms tarnished with dirt stains and sod. And one by one, they took on each foe, no matter condition, whether sun, wind, or snow. Wazoo and the Wildcats of Weaver went down. The Warriors and Aggies were run out of town. The Jackets and Vandals didn't put up much fight. And New Mexico State fell to BYU's might. Then off to Old Cali and the Poinsettia Bowl to take on a very familiar foe. The Aztecs were vanquished as in days of yore, bringing the Cougars' bowl win streak to four. Spring will come soon. They'll be at it again, preparing for fall, these fierce Cougar men. And I heard them exclaim in their post-bowl delight, Merry Christmas to all in the blue and the white. Yeah! <laughs> His true blue on BYU TV.